No, to start of origin over the last decade, but in the Blues' favour this year is that two matches will be played here at ANZ Stadium. And the Maroons' win record here isn't that great, and that's not lost on the coach, Kevin Walters. I've been waiting for a long time for an opportunity uh, to come along, and it's come along, so hopefully I can do it myself, and, and Queensland Crowds do a really good job in there. Regardless of whether you're a league supporter or not, origin just captures your imagination for 80 minutes, you support the team. And, um, and that will be no different this year. So there's still a little over two months to go until the first match is played here at ANZ Stadium on June 1. It'll be an exciting series because both teams could unveil new faces. The Lions are preparing to return to the Gabba this weekend and they take on North Melbourne in their first home game of the season. It'll see you recruit by Bastida, based his former club. I've trained with them and I've you know, played with them for, for six years, so playing against them is going to be a bit different, but you know, I'm just excited. It's going to be a lot of fun to be out there and you know, give each other a bit of stick as well. Bastanak also revealed the club's very right. own Lions job. People all over me, but that means tonight, if I don't score, anyone that's around me is going to score. See more of that interview in Nines News at 6. Tennis bad boy Nick Curios has kept his impressive run going at the Miami Masters after beating America's Tim Smyzak in the third round. He won 6-4, 6-4 and has yet to drop a set in the tournament. Richard's Annie Murray was the biggest the third round casualty Bundled out in three sets by Grigor Dimitrov. Connections of champion Queensland Race Lord Adam Jackson has more. Well, it's been a whirlwind 48 hours for those involved with buffering, and one of the key components to the overseas success arrived back home in Brisbane this morning. Jockey Damien Brown received high praise for his ride on the Superstar Sprinter, riding him to victory for the seventh Group 1 success of his career over in Dubai. And he was understandably still buzzing despite being a little jet lag from his 14 hour flight. So it's like the beating from home, but to go overseas in a beating week, uh, the highest level is it's a great uh, feather in his cap and probably a top off the world's been a great career. Now to put it into perspective, Buckering was bought a few years ago on the Gold Coast Healing Sales for just $22,000. And with his latest <laughs> win over in Dubai,